Hey, how's it going guys? It's your buddy Civil and I'm here again today and quickly before we start off this video I want to apologize because in the first part of this base tour we gave credit to the wrong person uh, It actually wasn't Aaron uh, Arcambolt. It was uh, Aaron McPhee uh, Very simple mix-up of names uh, But again, yeah, I do that, apologize that's our bed. <laughs> Yeah, our bad we uh we recorded that fairly late, and yeah, we were just like, his name's Aaron, and <laughs> grabbed the screen cap with the wrong name. I, I just saw activity from a, an Aaron, so I thought it was that one. I never read the messages, so I didn't know. Uh, but yeah, my fault. I didn't um, review the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my fault. It was a group mess. <laughs> Aaron, uh, we apologize. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into this video. So we're going to start off with this... Uh, I don't even know what we would call this building. It looks like a federal building of some sort, but it is... Right? I, I saw it and I was like, ooh, going to get my name changed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I got Jerry duty or something. <laughs> but, uh, like, this building makes excellent, excellent use of pillars. Sure, some are a little bit lopsided, but for the amount of pillars that there are, they are incredibly straight. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to get uh, those straight because you've got to, like... You've got to lay one down and lay one on top of it. It may look straight in the blueprints when you're about to lay it down, but as soon as you place down the blueprint, it's a little bit off-centered. So, yeah, uh, for the amount of pillars that are on this building, I mean, it, it it's destined to not look perfect, but at the same time, it looks perfect. So, great job on those pillars, man. And then moving on uh, above those pillars, you got that nice, like, dividing rock layers that just kind of breaks up the monotony of wood. And then you have literally, like, ten roofs on top of yeah, it. Yeah, I like the way that looks. <laughs> it, uh... Yeah, it looks really good. Adds some definition. And, uh, heading inside, there's honestly nothing in here. Yeah. Not much, except for this weird... Shrine with a, a crocodile set. We haven't been able to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, honestly, we don't it's... know exactly what this is for. It's an alligator with wings, man. That's honestly what it is. I think that's what he was going for. He's like, you know what? This building right here, I, I'm not gonna do anything inside except for an alligator with fucking wings. That's that's what his whole plan was. <laughs> yeah, right. That, that's what this world needs: more flying. <laughs> Anyway, we just wanted to show that building off real quick because it's super cool, even though there's not a lot inside. And uh, as you can see right here, like the pillars, they literally wrap all the way around. Yeah, the exterior of this it's building, amazing. it's beautiful. But yeah, I mean, if you added furniture on the inside, it would be a 10 out of 10 building. But, you know, it's still great looking. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what it becomes. Oh, yeah. But uh, moving on, anyway. uh, we've got the Colosseum over here. Now, this is like, aside from the church, one of the most greatest builds in this base. Um, <laughs> Am and I had plans to do a Colosseum before, and seeing it now, like this one, it, it it's great. Because this is literally what I imagined uh, our Colosseum would look like if we did actually make one. Uh, but yeah. We've literally just got the uh, whole area down here. You'd have people battle out, whatever. We've got uh, axes, stuff, you know, armor. You know, you'd just come over here, pick up your armor, and fight whatever it is you needed to fight. And um, up here we've got, you know, a little spectator area. You know, there's no seating, which is fine. Uh, if you added seating, it would I mean, be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you added seating, it would be a little bit cramped. But yeah, other than that, it's just... it's nothing too much else going on you could go back here um this is just like the area for like pre-war i guess you know before you go into battle all right guys so quickly before we move on from the uh, coliseum i want to point out the exterior walls of this place so what he did was i guess he bunched up a lot of platforms and just i don't i honestly don't know how he does it like, I don't, I've never seen anybody do this before, but it looks amazing from the outside. But it's literally just a bunch of platforms bunched up together. And uh, for an exterior wall, it looks amazing. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty it's much... hell on the FPS. Oh, yeah. But it does look amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Coliseum. Now we're going to move on. All right, so immediately right next to the Coliseum, we got this awesome gate. And uh, 
Siva, do you want to get up top to show them the little defensive area? Yeah. So, the gate itself is honestly nothing too special. It's just, you know, a rock wall gate, but it has, like, these nice accent walls made out of, you know, just the regular, uh, like, interior wall. And he's just attaching them to make these, like, awesome angles. And as you can see, Siva's up there, and that's the, the little defensive post. Oh, good. And up there, he's got racks and racks of explosives and some arrows and stuff. Yeah. But uh, for a like, defensive gate, this is one of the nicer ones that I've seen. Setting inside, immediately to the right, we have like this little guards post area. Once again, there's not a lot in here. All that's really in here is some explosives. But uh, it looks really good. The deer skin on this window is kind of an odd choice because I imagine this is like a guard's hut, but like... You just can't see <laughs> the main gate from inside. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there is Maybe another way to, to get up to the uh, like the defensive gate. Yeah, the secondary area from in here. But yeah. Overall, like the building itself, like everything else in the world is incredibly nice. He even did that uh, that foundation trick right here. So instead of having a gap, it's just got like a nice like. Thank you, Rain. Stacked wood pillar look. Yeah. Uh, have we shown this up? We have not. Okay, so in the middle of his world, he has this really strange floating shrine, I guess. I don't know. It's made of a whole bunch of roofs. As you can see, you can climb it. Um, I honestly don't know what this is about, but I love everything about it's it. It's a Christmas tree, man. Come on. Okay, it's a Christmas tree now. Aaron, we love you, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's move on to uh, the last thing, and that is this house. All right, guys, so here we are at the house itself. As you can see, it is primarily a stone house with a whole bunch of wood accents. He used, like, the regular wood walls to make some pillars for the windows, and then in the windows themselves, he used some stick fences, and it looks awesome. Uh, upstairs here in the front... We have, like, this nice kind of semi, you know, half dome thing that uh, is, I don't know. It just looks cool. We'll take a better look at it once we get up there. Um, on the sides of the house, you have, you know, some windows along with a multiple stacked roof that look really, really awesome. Around the back side, we also have a patio. And that patio uses the same stacked foundation technique to, uh, you know, make it look nice and filled in. There's even a little gap in the middle so you can get underneath it. And there's a whole bunch of storage. As you can see, there's some, like, sticks and uh, rocks and logs and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Honestly, this is the first time I saw this part. <laughs> anyway, let's head inside and actually take a look at it. All right, so heading inside, we are immediately greeted with a nice, you know, double wide table. Uh, other than that, we also have a fireplace with a couple couches so we can chill out along with some storage shelves. As you can see, the windows themselves, they may have a staircase with a single pillar on each side along with some uh, stick fences to, you know, make the window itself. I gotta say, this building technique is actually superb. Uh, heading over here through the only door downstairs, really. It leads us into the kitchen. So here we have a bunch of bunnies along with stacked meat racks, uh, oven so we can cook uh, fresh meat. And then we have a pantry full of booze and fun drink and apparently arrows and bones. So, you know, just pantry stuff. Heading through the boar head door that leads us downstairs into the basement. And the basement is full of bunnies. Let's just pretend this is a, a rescue habitat and not, not a farm. <laughs> Those four bunnies. <laughs> anyway, we also have a back door, and that leads out to the patio. And the patio itself is actually really nice. It has a great view out onto the water. But other than that, it's an area for us to collect water and sit in these little couches where me and Siva actually chilled for about 20 minutes waiting for the sun to come up. Alright, heading back inside, we're going to head over here to the raccoon head door, which actually leads to a staircase, which will take us up to the second floor. 
So here on the second floor, it's actually not too much going on. We have a bed so we can save and sleep and stuff like that. A window with no bars, so we're capable of jumping out just like that. And then we also have, I guess this is supposed to be a more stylized version of a bed. But it's made up of a couple couches and the, uh, the little end tables. Not too sure, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. Heading out back, we have a small patio that overlooks the larger patio that overlooks the ocean. And heading out the front, this is what I was talking about with that semicircle uh, archway that leads you to this large patio out front, which normally you would have a view of the church and the Colosseum, but we tore down the church to try and free up some FPS. And here we just have a couple benches and water collectors and stuff like that. Heading into this back room, it actually leads us to yet another staircase with an awesome window. And this back staircase actually, oops. Anyway, this back staircase actually leads us over here into the attic. And here we can get a good view of the stacked roofs that are used to fill in these apexes along with some rock walls to get into the cracks. But pretty much this is a completely usable uh, attic space. However, he has chosen not to do anything up here yet. I do imagine that something will be built up here in the future though because every build in this world is uh, pretty detailed. Anyway, that's probably going to do it for today, guys. Again, we do want to apologize. Aaron, we didn't expect to get so many Aarons at once to subscribe to us <laughs> and be super vocal. It really threw me and Sivo off. So, super sorry. And uh, Aaron Arkenbolt, enjoy that, uh, <laughs> that little moment in the spotlight in the first video because odds are we'll never go back and fix it, but I will pin a comment on there saying that uh whoops are bad anyway that's gonna do for today guys like the video if you like to get subscribed if you're new here and leave a comment down there if we gave credit to the wrong aaron again because <laughs> that would be super fun <laughs> i swear anyway we'll catch you next time peace out